Hello everyone and welcome. So today I share a very simple bread recipe. To begin, you have to put your yeast by adding sugar and the yeast to a very warm water, not too hot, not too cold. Give it a good stir and keep it aside for 5 minutes. So in a bowl, you add your flour and add your salt. Give it a quick stir. So now you introduced the yeast. As you can see the foam on top of the it means the yeast is active. If you proof your oil for 5 minutes and you ignore it, your bread will not rise. So you introduce the yeast into the flour mixture and mix. Give it a good mix. First I have to go in with this spatula then with your hands. So I have to transfer the dough to a flat surface and knead, knead and knead. Guys, you have to knead for 15 long minutes. Bread is all about you need, unless you have a stand mixer or a hand mixer. So you go in for 15 minutes until the mixture is stretching. we have attained the stretchy mixture that we want you grease your bowl and place the, the mixture inside the bowl cover it to rise for one hour so you get your bread pan ready by rubbing butter on it and sprinkling a little flour make sure the flour touches all the pan So by doing this, your bread will not stick to the pan, can be easily removed after baking and it will not burn easily. You can replace it with a parchment paper mm -hmm. if you have one. So now we are back to our dough after one hour. It has increased in size. Bring it out and put it on your work surface. Roll it out, not to don't roll it out too flat, then apply a little butter on it. So try as much as you can to close the holes in between the bread. You hold and pinch, hold and pinch until all the bread becomes like as if it's one. So you roll, hold and pinch, hold and pinch. You roll it out a little, just a little. So after that, you place it gently on your bread pan and allow it to rise for another one hour before baking. So 
butter to bake you sprinkle a little salt you can actually deal without the salt you have to lower the heat very well so that the pot cannot burn remember nothing is inside so you sprinkle the salt you add your stove top or your so we are back and our bread has doubled on size can you see that we heat the pot for 10 minutes before going in with the bread so you don't beat an entirely cold pot guys for that brown crunchy top you go in with egg wash just brush it on top of the bread so that when it comes out when it's done it will give that golden color and crunchy back you cover it up and bake for about 20 minutes on a very low heat guys be careful i almost burnt mine can you see that final result be careful as i said leave it for too long 20 minutes at least so see our bread very very fluffy it's hot it's hot can you see the back i almost bought this so please like subscribe comment for more videos see you in the next video bye